Well, hello, radio peeps. It's Bob in one KPR. And here's just a quickie I want to show you. I uh, had an occasion where I need a, uh, a little uh, RF preamp for our loafer project. I, need, I needed something that's going to go down really into the LF and VLF bands and uh, out to 30 megs. So, you know, it's a good all-band uh, coverage thing for HF and uh, uh, MF if you're an AM guy. Uh, or you want to do some uh, beacon hunting or fool around with the loafer bands. Anyhow, it's a simple two-transistor thing. One stage of gain and one stage of... Uh, emitter follower uh, so we have a nice low impedance to feed the receiver uh, not a big deal and uh, the amazing thing is unlike uh, mimic chips uh, or some of the op amp uh, amplifier types this has a lot of dynamic range so you're not going to be uh, intermodding in this uh, first stage this is a typical RF gain stage in a receiver, actually. Um, what I'm going to suggest, if you want to build something like this, is to just pause the video and do a screen grab of uh, the schematic. Here's the layout and the schematic uh, that you can grab and reproduce, kind of sloppy. Uh, but I did it on the fly. It's an R&D thing. Everything worked out beautifully. Uh, I tested it extensively yesterday and all last, good part of last night on, uh, particularly on the AM band, trying to DX some uh, AM broadcasters. All right, a couple of points of interest. One is you only need really three resistors here in this circuit, uh, the feedback bias thing and this bias thing here. You may want to put a 50 ohm here on the input. And here on the output, actually, technically, they belong inside the cap over in here uh, because of the DC blockage of the uh, the cap, but it doesn't matter. Um, or provide little jumper places where you could actually short out those resistors to change the gain. I found out, I'm going in barefoot here, if you noticed, there's the... Uh, Here's the, let me see, <laughs> get the focus in here. One, two, three resistors. And I've got another one here for the LED. Uh, I'm running barefoot. You're going to get about 15 dB a gain. Uh, if you remove one or both, we'll get into that in a minute. You can increase the gain up to 25 dB or more, depending on the impedance matching and uh, a couple other variables. Here is... I don't know if I, this shows up very well. I've drawn the pot that I have on the input. The input pot, very simply, is a 500 ohm linear taper. Make sure you use linear. Uh, it'll work out a lot better for you. Um, with and without those input and output resistors in. Very quickly, uh, here's the truth chart. Input and output, yes, no. This, in this case, the output one is in. In this case, the input one is in. And finally, they're both in. And let me run down the, the chart, the graphic here. With the pot wide open, we've got plus 20. Um, with both... Uh, actually, it's a little more than 20. With both of them uh, resistors removed or shorted out. With just... The uh, output, Let's see, output, yes. Uh, we have 15 dB with just the input one in. We have 13, and with both of them in, we have 11. You may find 11 is good enough. That's about, uh, you know, what, 4 to 1, close to 4 to 1 gain. So, uh, yeah, 10 would be uh, 3 to 1, so there you go. Uh, but, uh, both resistors, 11 dB, output resistor, I'm uh, sorry, input resistor, 13 dB, output resistor, 15 dB, no resistors, 20 dB. 20 dB, too much, and I'm going to show you that in just a second here. Uh, I've got an AM station on here. I'm using a Watkins Johnson, very high dynamic range device, notice, 
I've got the uh, AGC turned off, and I'm going to turn this pot, and we can watch the uh, signal strength on the, I uh, wish that would focus. Boy, isn't that something? Anyhow, here we go. I'm turning it down, down, down. There is unity gain. I'm at about uh, 7.30 or 8 o'clock on the pot. There's zero. Of course, we're shorted. So we go back to unity. And then we're going to go up to uh, 5 dB, 10 dB, 15 dB. And now we're going to go way over the end to 20. Now I'm going to turn up the audio. I want you to hear this. I don't know if you can hear that. I feel like CBD oil. Rush is talking about it. You see where the needle is now? I'm going to add more gain to this high dynamic range uh, receiver. You hear the inner mod? You can hear the inner mod. I'm actually overdriving. I'm actually overdriving a Watkins Johnson front end. And of course, 20 dB plus my uh, long wire antenna is, uh, is probably too much for the little guy. Um, but there you have it. You know, you have a short antenna, or, you know, uh, maybe you're indoors, or maybe you just want to get down into the beacon area, or you want to do some AM DXing at night. I find that to be a lot of fun. Uh, there you go. Once again, you want to do a screen grab. Here's the thing. Again, important. Uh, 50. I'm sorry. Let me get it in here. 501. 500 ohm pot. Linear, linear, linear taper. Wired up just like a pot, which is uh, ground. Middle is output. Input is the uh, right hand terminal there. Here's the layout. I'm going to shoot a picture of that. Makes it all nice and easy. And uh, the circuit. Oh, there you have it. I tried to keep it short, and I didn't. Um, any questions? Let me know. It's Bob, N1KPR. I'm at www.bobsamerica.com. And please join my uh, YouTube channel, N1KPR. Thanks, and bye-bye.